The Solar Energy Tree is a design for a living sculptor, a tree made of bronze and copper, with leaves reaching to the sun that contains solar panels that will power a fountain, music system, and a light show for night viewing. It will have features of the water wheel and a windmill as well to add additional power and celebrate and tout the various forms of sustainable, renewable energy that our society has developed in the past and is moving towards in the future of this millennium. Larger versions of this design can be erected at stadiums to serve as charging stations for electric cars. Other versions can be trees to power recharging of cell phones and computers. This original model is a skeleton prototype made of copper that works and was made in Hawaii by builder Johnson Lung from the model and design of G. Dove Gertzweig and the vision that developed with Alejandro Asa. The final sculpture will be a tower that will serve not only artistically and practically, but will also be a symbol of the green world we are all striving to create across the world. Johnson Lum, who has created Hobby Garden in Hawaii, where he built models of the Eiffel Tower, the Great Pyramids of Egypt, and many other models, as well as the first functioning solar tugboat, has created this model out of ordinary copper tubing and copper leaves as a universal generic skeleton whose design can be easily copied and built quickly to serve the functional need or be more elaborately constructed in the shape of trees, cast in bronze, and a major artwork as is being proposed in this presentation. The glowing orange ball at the top depicts the sun, whose light reaches down to the lower blue ball representing the earth. And the tree trunk is the conduit for the energy to be brought down to earth. It also shows the connection of the mind and the heart, and the energy that travels between. Plants and fish in the fountain will give the living element and the growing of the tree with moss and the color of the bronze and copper, which will change over the years. The music that will be coming out of the speakers that are the fruit of the tree has been composed by artist and musician Dove to create a peaceful and gentle feeling to be experienced by the visitors and a chance to contemplate the wonder of the sun and the fact that all life on earth is dependent upon the light and energy coming from 93 million miles away. Dove's interest in trees as a symbol came from his experience in Rio de Janeiro in 1992, where the organization Earth Secure initiated a Tree of Life campaign in which over a million people worldwide sent postcards with a leaf drawn on it to serve as a call to action to their leaders. And these were hung from an enormous tree of life in the center of the Global Forum as a visual testament of support for the Earth Summit's goals and a reminder to its delegates that the world's voice was with them. Upon return, Dove painted the Earth Day Everyday mural, which has brought the message of Rio home to Los Angeles since that time. Dove's Symphony of the Sacred Forest was written to be a voice for the forests. Many of the murals contain positive environmental visions and these decorate the city and schools. A mural depicting the cycle of energy will be painted by Dove on the base of the solar energy tree. This world tree sculpture is meant to remind our city of the importance of the tree, which creates our oxygen and joins us at the roots. Additional models are being developed in other themes to meet the needs of various city locations.
The bronze casting is being prepared by Hector Shanduski of the Foundry and other sculptors' talents are to be employed to make this a grand and beautiful piece of art. The hope is for this to be built soon, perhaps at the new stadium, to amplify the vision of the many in the community, including the mayor, that Los Angeles is a city of the sun and the future.